You meet her in, you know, seven years into a relationship with an older man who has a, a somewhat dodgy past, as they would say in England, where we are shooting it. And uh, it's it's um it's fun to play. It's fun to play as someone who's an actor too. It's fun to play someone who has a a very similar lifestyle to me. But there's a lot of mystery. There's a lot of tension in this marriage. There's a lot of weird stuff going on. Um, it's kind of why I wanted to do it. You're not really sure if you can trust Theo ever, but you do see the the pain and the torment he's going through as you get further along in the movie, in the, in the plot, he's just becoming undone and you don't know what's doing it anymore. Which is why I love thrillers like this because you're not, they're all, is it psychological or is it something that's actually physically there? She's seven years old and she's an avid reader and she's very, very close to her parents and she's very honest, very direct. She's curious beyond, um, <laughs> beyond what's comfortable, I think, for any parent. And I think subconsciously she knows everything, which is just pretty scary. So you've got that third party who's watching everything happen, maybe doesn't quite know what it is or what it's about, but you, you can, you can ref it's everything, all the, all the bad is reflected in their, in their eyes. And um, through this like innocent lens, it's 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 uh, it's very twisted. The house is cold. It's modern. It's it's um, natural wood, colored. It's it's mid-century, but on acid. It's very sterile. It's completely unwelcoming. This house is definitely hiding something. Even on the set, I feel like. What I'm seeing is not really there. It's unsettling. That's every, it's every, it evokes everything that, that, that David Kep, the director, wants it to evoke. And I had no idea it was going to look this way. I, I wasn't expecting what I saw. But it's, um, it's, I don't think it's ever been captured in a movie. I really I haven't seen a house like this. The laws of um, geometry don't really uh, apply for this house. Um, the angles are all wrong. It doesn't make sense. And that's one of the coolest parts of the script that I just, just ate up. It, I just, it's really mind boggling and frustrating. And you can see Theo kind of trying to understand it desperately and it not making sense. Just that, you know, the laws of physics, all, all that stuff when it doesn't, when it doesn't, um, when it doesn't apply to something, you just, you become, you turn upside down. When the rules don't apply, I think that's terrifying because you have no control. You, you, you can't possibly understand. And when I can't understand something, it's very scary as a kind of a control freak. Um, and I think it's also scary that these, these things keep appearing and, and you're, you're, you don't know if you're dreaming. And for him, he's just... He, he feels like he's being possessed, like he's like there's he doesn't have any control because he's confused by all these new things popping up, like people, you know, new pictures and and doors and hallways. And so it's like this house is enveloping them. Hi, guys. Here's today's daily fact. During the filming of The Exorcist, the world's most famous horror film, the director instructed the crew to casually fire shotgun blanks to get more authentic and credible reactions from the actors on set and capture the moment of sheer terror on their faces. Remember to click below to subscribe on the side for more great content.